Welcome to another episode of Husky Trails. In this video, I will show you how you can train basic mushing commands to your dog. All these commands can be used across different mushing activities, so you don't have to train new commands if you want to try out different things. As a disclaimer, I want to say that Laika already knows mushing commands, but the principle of these exercises will work just the same with a dog that is new to this. It might just take a bit longer and need more repetitions. There are also different ways to train this, and if you are trying out different things and find another way that works better for you, then go for it. This is what we have found to be best practice and what I think is a very easy and intuitive way for the dog to learn the commands. Now you can do this with your regular walking setup with your normal leash and stuff. But I recommend you do this with the dog already in a mushing harness and with a bungee leash. If you use your normal equipment, you shouldn't use a no pull harness though, because it restricts your dog's movement and is counter to what you want to practice. This is a great way to get your dog used to the gear and setup so that they aren't confused with this part later when you start hooking them up and actually mushing them. This is also a great way to teach a dog mushing commands that is not yet old enough to pull. In mushing, dogs are 100% steered by voice commands. There is no direct physical contact like you would have when riding a horse, for example. Now you can use whatever terminology you want. We use the traditional mushing commands because they have a couple of advantages. They are meant to be distinct from other everyday commands so that the dog can identify and distinguish them and also not get confused when random people around you shout right or stop, for example. They are also meant to be short and snappy enough so that the dog can clearly hear and identify the command. Keep in mind, once you're mushing, you have quite some distance between you and your dog. Whatever mushing setup you have might also make some noise and the dog should always be able to clearly hear and identify your command. I think the best way is to teach mushing commands on a hike or just a regular walk, so you can essentially practice these commands every day. Ideally, you go to a place where you don't have many distractions and where you have a lot of intersections to practice turns. Don't do too much at a time. A few minutes or off and on on shorter walks is fine. I'd say actual training shouldn't be more than 15 minutes. I would also not teach more than two commands at a time. This is a challenging mental exercise for your dog and will tucker them out in a similar way to physical exercise. As with all dog training, leave it on a high note. The dog shouldn't be bored or exhausted or have any negative associations with this. Also keep in mind that some days will be better than others and that your dog might learn one command quicker than others. Laika, for example, is better with G than she is with Haw. This training can be a bit more casual than when you're actually out mushing. This can be combined with a regular walk and they can also sniff around and do dog stuff. This is supposed to be a fun walk where they also learn something rather than the other way around. That's why I give Laika some off-leash time at the beginning where she can go off and explore and do her thing. That way she'll be more focused and receptive to training. I also recommend you don't talk too much to your dog while training. When you constantly talk to your dog, you risk that your dog starts ignoring you after a while and might not filter out the commands anymore. The cool thing about this though is that you can essentially remote control your dog. They will also take the commands on an off-leash walk over a greater distance. As you can see here, Laika wanted to go up these stones because that's where we usually go back up on the path but I was able to tell her ha for left and keep going that way. Ha ha. Yep, good. Let's go. Going into the mushing training, your dog should at least know some basic commands like sit, stay and no, and verbal praise like good girl or good job. I also recommend that you don't go out and start any actual mushing until your dog can correctly do these commands about 8 times out of 10. The last general pointers I want to give before we look at the actual commands is that you should watch your tone of voice when giving commands. The commands as well as a no 
should be lower and slightly authoritative, but don't confuse this with harshness. On the other hand, a praise after a correct command execution should be higher pitched and encouraging. You can't really see it in the video, but there were people coming down to the beach on the other end. So I call Laika back and we take this as our cue to hook her up and work a little on our mushing commands. And, as with all dog training, it's not a train once and done. This needs to be repeated and practiced regularly. We, for example, don't just use these commands while mushing. We also use them on our regular walks. Despite popular opinion or what you might have seen in movies, the word mush is actually not used. The starting command is hike and many mushers also use let's go. The stopping command is woe. The starting command is really easy to train. You just stop and stand with your dog, then start walking and give the command. After a few repetitions, your dog can probably make the association. If your dog doesn't naturally start at a quick pace or trot, you can build up to it by simply walking faster when you start. And it's just as simple for stopping. While walking or trotting, slow down and say whoa and come to a stop. You repeat this process and start saying whoa a little bit sooner until your dog makes the connection and stops as soon as you give the command. Whoa. Stay. Alright. Hike. Good. Hike, hike. Good. You can also make kissy sounds or whatever you use at home to encourage your dog to go or pick up the pace a bit. When your dog did the command right, don't use treats as a reward because you run the risk that your dog will stop and turn around for the treat and then your dog might get the wrong association and will actually turn around when hearing the command. Instead, reinforce the correct behavior with verbal praise. When you give the wo command and come to a stop, your dog might have the tendency to walk back towards you. If this happens, Tell them stay or give the hand sign for stay. Because when mushing, you want them to stay up front. Also don't worry if they get tangled up in the line while doing this. They will learn quickly how to untangle themselves. You only need to help if they can't figure it out or if it's really tight around their leg or they might get hurt. It's also a myth that huskies only listen to one person. As long as the dog is trained in the commands and everything is executed the same way, anyone can do this. But obviously, the better relationship the dog and handler have, the better it'll go. Whoa. So here you can see that my husband is walking Laika and even though I do most of the mushing with her, she reacts to him giving the commands just the same. Whoa. Let's go. As already mentioned earlier, we use the traditional mushing commands, which is G for right and HA for left. Now you can use whatever words you want or make sense to you. They don't have to be the official mushing commands, but they need to be distinct from words the dog might randomly hear from people around you. And again, we work on the commands more leisurely on our walks 
so it's okay for me if Leica stops to sniff and pee here and there. To train the turn commands, go somewhere with a lot of intersections. The concept of turning needs to be clear to the dog, which means the dog needs to have a clear trail to follow. When approaching an intersection, if the dog pulls straight ahead, give a turn command and slightly steer the dog in that direction. Make sure you keep going until fully finished with the turn. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Good! Good, ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Good, ha! Huh. Good! Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Yes, good! When your dog naturally takes a turn, give the command so that they can make the association with it. This probably won't take your dog long to understand. When your dog turns correctly upon giving the command, even if it wasn't maybe fully intentional, still give verbal praise. And again, do not reward with treats for this. It would be really dangerous when you're mushing later at a higher speed and your dog stops and turns around all of a sudden because he's expecting a treat from you after a turn command. When they turn the right way, other than verbal praise, you can also just pick up the speed a little to confirm they're going the right way and to motivate them. G. Good G. Good G. Good job. Good job. Huh? Huh? Good huh? Huh? And G. Good. No. Yep. Make sure to always do this from the dog's perspective and not from yours. You need to give the command when the dog approaches an intersection. Also be aware of any obstacles the dog might cut across. Give the command so that the dog will stay on the trail and doesn't take a shortcut. This is really important later when you are 10-12 feet behind your dog on a bike or skis or whatever. Your dog can jump over a ditch or an obstacle, but you probably can't. On by is the command for the dog to ignore distractions and keep going. This one might be the easiest to teach, but the hardest for the dog to do because they have to fight their instincts here. So what you do is whenever your dog wants to stop and sniff or go after a squirrel or something, say on by and keep going. Picking up some speed or making kissy sounds can help here. On by, on by, good on by. All right, let's go. Ha, good. We're gonna go on by. Come on, we're gonna go on by. Good on by, good on by. Good on by. G. Good G. Good G. On by can also be used when approaching an intersection where your dog wants to go left or right, but you want them to keep going straight. On by. Good on by. Good. On by. Let's go. This will have to be practiced a lot until it becomes a new habit for your dog. Don't get frustrated if it takes a while and you have setbacks along the way. It is probably the most important command to teach your dog because it'll minimize the risk of accidents later. Most accidents I hear about happen when a dog is running down the trail and then suddenly dashes to the side or stops and then the person attached in the back ends up crashing. So before you go out and do any actual mushing, Make sure your dog is fairly reliable with the on by command. I have also linked a bike during video below where I talk about some safety pointers and where you can see the on by command in action. Feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions about training the mushing commands. Also feel free to leave comments if you've had success teaching this with a different approach. I'd love to hear about it. 
Thanks for watching and happy trails.